Hi everyone, it's Katie here from Katie Calls It and today I'm going to be talking about crisps or potato chips depending on where you're from. Have you ever wondered why these packets seem to be so full of air? Before I answer that question let me know your favourite flavour of crisps. So why is there so much air and what seems to be very little crisp in the packet? So what I found was these bags aren't actually pumped full of oxygen. They actually contain a nitrogen gas which preserves the crisps and stops them from going stale. Good idea. Also, having air in the bag protects the crisps because they are rather fragile. Let's see how many crisps we get in a packet this big. Okay, to me that seems a bit stingy. Let's put them back in the packet. I'm gonna crush these crisps up and see what the contents really amount to. I was just having a bit of a guess and I thought that they might possibly fit into an egg cup. <laughs> I'm not far off. Now that's not a lot of crisp for your money, I don't think. I find that rather deceptive. <laughs> Now because the packets contain a gas, they need to be big enough to allow for expansion. I'm just wondering how many packets of crisps we could get into one pack. Let's take a look. Okay, so we've comfortably managed to squeeze three packets of crisps into one pack. That's more like it. I'd say that's better value for money, wouldn't you? On the other hand, what if we were to make the packet smaller to match the contents? And this is how it would look. Much less space taken up on our shelves and much more honest packaging. So what's my point? I don't have a point. I wanted to open lots of packets of crisps and have a reason to eat them all. <laughs> it's just this is supposed to be a comedy. Now because the packets contain a bat to allow for expansion, expansion, 